Jerry Judy, a wide receiver, won in 2021. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm serious. This is explicit fantasy football. Okay, so if you're sitting there thinking, oh my god, this guy thinks Jerry Judy wide receiver won. Oh my god, he's so dumb. Then you're the fucking idiot. Now, let's check it here. Coming out of Alabama in the deepest wide receiver class of all time, this guy was thought of to be the best wide receiver and most ready, I might add, to play in the NFL straight out of college. He has route running that is rivaled by few in the league. And you're wondering, well, then why is this guy going in the eighth round? I'll tell you why this guy is going in the eighth round. And that is the downside from his rookie season being baked into his draft stock this season. And let's take a look at what Judy's downside was from his rookie year. Now, if you take a look at the just a, a little light glance, it's actually pretty good in regards to a wide receiver rookie season. 856 yards, 114 targets. Woohoo! It's when you dive deeper that you get scared of Judy in fantasy. It's the 52 receptions on 114 yards, so a 47 catch completion rate right there. Not very good. And the 12 drops, the true black eye of his rookie season, 12 drops trailing only Deontay Johnson in that category in the entirety of the league. And you're going, oh my God, this guy's making an argument for wide receiver one for Jerry Judy. When you had guys like Justin Jefferson for 1,400 yards last year, and C.D. Lamb just under 1,000 at 935. What about T. Higgins, bro? Or, or how about Chase Claypool? He had more yards too, 873. Like, what's this Jerry Judy stuff? Well, the fact of the matter is, all of these guys, outside of maybe Justin Jefferson, have hurdles to overcome in order to have better seasons than Jerry Judy. Chase Claypool is a big-time playmaker, but there are mouths to feed there. T. Higgins, guess what? New guy there. New guy there. You got to compete for targets as well. C.D. Lamb. C.D. Lamb. Well, you got a full healthy wide receiving core and maybe they actually start running the ball this season so there are question marks about all three of the guys ahead of Jerry Judy outside of maybe Justin Jefferson who truly is possibly the best playmaker of the bunch but when we talk about it this guy has basically one one question mark going into 2021 and that's the quarterback situation and when we think about it it's not all on Drew Locke in 2020, we had Drew Locke playing 13 games. Brett Rippon played in three games. Jeff Driscoll played in three games. Kendall Hinton started a game. Like, this this thing was a mess all around. Now, going into 2021, they, they traded for Teddy Bridgewater the night before the draft. They traded a six-round pick for Steady Teddy, a guy that they know at the very least is a guy who can move the chains in between the 20. They have a couple powerful running backs down in the end zone and tight ends that, let's face it, Teddy just didn't have to work with down in Carolina in Noah Fant and Albert Okuebunam. And we're talking about talent that Teddy has never had to work with. So whether it's Teddy, whether it's Drew, second year in an offensive scheme for the first time since high school. So this first time he's repeating an offense in like seven years. Okay, so one of these two guys should be an improvement over last year. Jerry Judy, those drops, you know what? Those, I don't expect drops from Jerry Judy this year. I expect a very clean game. Reports coming out of camp. This guy is catching everything. And not just catching everything, he's getting balls peppered to him, whether it's Drew Locke, whether it's Teddy Bridgewater. He's considered the favorite target amongst all of this wealth of talent in the passing attack for Denver. 
And let's not forget the schedule right out the gate. You know, Jerry Judy doesn't have to contend with the likes of Cortland Sutton right out the gate. This guy's coming off an ACL tear, hasn't even been a year, and reports out of camp are he's not quite as explosive as before the injury. They're going to ease him into use. That means true number one status for Jerry Judy out the gate. We're talking about a guy that can get himself 10, 12, maybe even 15 targets a game when you're talking about the likes of the New York Giants, the Jacksonville Jaguars, and the Jets the first three weeks of the season. This schedule is super light, even with Teddy Bridgewater and Drew Locke at quarterback. Jerry Judy, especially in PPR formats, is a true, true wide receiver one upside in the eighth round. You're talking about a guy that's motivated. You're talking about a guy that has heard all the talk about the drops, has heard all the talk about the four wide receivers in the rookie class that finished ahead of him. He's sick of it. He tweeted it. He tweeted one thing. Check it out right here. 2,000 yards. 2,000 yards. Didn't even add the yards, but we know what it all means. Come on. Jerry Judy has a true ability to be a wide receiver one in the eighth round. This is Explicit Fantasy Football.